Next, let's actually go back to the group node and give ourselves a UI widget for the control to change between two color spaces. So I'll right click anywhere in the node graph, uh, in, the, in the panel, go back to our manage user knob manager and right under the channels knob I'm gonna create or add this time and add an empty interface widget and I want a pull down choice menu. I'm gonna call that operation and in this case I'll just leave the label blank if the label is left blank it'll just reuse the name of the knob that I'm creating. The name is the one that you want to reference in expressions so keep that in mind and the first item of our pull down list is going to be HSV and the second one HSL. Hit OK and let's call that done and now you can see we have a nice drop down list here. So now we just need to provide some control and uh, link to that knob by creating a switch node that lets us switch from one part of the tree to the other and um, because HSV is our first item in the list I'm gonna make sure that the pipe 0 is connected to HSV and pipe 1 is connected to HSL and now I can simply right click in the switch node in the, into the switch knob, add an expression and now link it to our operation knob that we created and because the operation knob lives in the parents panel in the groups panel we have to reference it by the prefix parent dot followed by the actual knob name like so and now you can see when I switch the drop down list here we actually control the internal switch node and that gives us a different color space option so let's see what that actually does to our gizmo this is the HSL output this is the HSV output so you can see it's a quite significant difference and depending on what you need to do one or the other might work for you best and because we can let's just add a third one I'm just gonna go in here hook that up again and this time I'm gonna use the LAB color space because that's kinda handy to have because the LAB color space is trying to mimic the luminance perception of the human eye a bit more accurately so that might actually be a good option to have however this guy puts the luminance L into the red channel so before we pipe that up into our downstream we have to shuffle that luminance from the red channel to the blue channel because we're copying the blue channel as our luminance over here so let's create a shuffle node to do that one of the scariest guys in Nuke I guess and we want the output to be blue and the blue channel should become should come from the red channel so this basically shuffles the red channel into the blue channel and now we're ready to just pipe that into the switch node and because this guy now has three inputs we'll go back to the groups panel and we'll go back into our operation knob and we'll add LAB as the third option And now let's investigate that again. This is LA LAB, this is HSL, this is HSV. So now we've got three different options for the user to play with, including the lookup curves and the actual channel controls. And in case you hadn't noticed, I called the whole knob operation because operation is another node knob name that actually triggers Nuke's auto label function and that gives us some information about the knobs setting in the node graph which I'm a big fan of so let's save some defaults here I'll, I'll put this to LAB and actually I'm gonna push that pre multiply option we created in the previous tutorial I'm gonna push that up right, just down here and the last thing I want to do is to leave some useful information in my gizmo so I'll right click here anywhere in the in the panel again and go to edit help and this will become the gizmos help information that will be displayed when the user hits that little question mark up here so let's put something useful in here
confirm that and we finally go back to our node tab hit export as gizmo and I'm just gonna overwrite my gizmo file here if you do this make sure that that particular gizmo file is not used by anybody including yourself in existing comp scripts otherwise you might break the existing work so it's a, it's a good idea to always keep a developer's copy offline that you work on and if in doubt version up but in this case I'm just going to overwrite the gizmo file here confirm that and delete the group once again I'm just going to go to file script command and type the name of our key to pull that gizmo file back in that we just created and here it is with our new interface with the new auto label functions and with all the new features.